We're live. <laughs> We're live on YouTube, guys. Hey, what's up, everyone? Let's see how many people join us. We've never gone live on YouTube before. This is our first time. Um, I need to change the title because it says test. Oh, yeah, we changed the title. I don't know how to do that. Maybe we should stop it and start. We're going to stop and start again. Oh, let's see. Well, here we go. Let's do this. Everyone, I'm getting really close <laughs> to the camera. We are changing the title. Here we go. Yes. Here there we go. we go. Saving that. We've got seven viewers. All right, guys. Thank How's you everyone so much. doing? Hello. We're eating cookies. She's eating cookies. A, I just saw you eat some. I'm eating a cherry. Oh, okay. It's a it's a party because we're celebrating something really exciting. We are. I'm getting all kinds of stuff. Okay, and tonight we are dropping a brand new uh, album called Best Days. Best Days. It's coming out. And let's see this. The glitter. There we go. If you're <laughs> if you're over a certain age, you need young people to help you. You guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> this is the cover. It's very exciting. Best Days. This is the back cover. This is very exciting. And we have um, the insert that you're able to find out more information about who wrote what. I love that. My husband and I, we scour credits because we want to know names and yeah. who played on what and what did, and all the thank yous are on here too. So you can get this tonight at midnight. And that's why I'm jumping on here. And so glad that you guys are jumping. Like I said, this is our very first time. We've done YouTube. We've gone live on YouTube. So this is time. fun. This is, really this fun. is my daughter. Uh, this is Nicole. Hello, everyone. And I'm Martha. For those of you that are like, who are you? <laughs> um, and we just wanted to jump on really quick. We were on Facebook and Instagram. And we thought, let's head over to YouTube and let's jump on and see who we can talk to for a little bit. And let you know that we're doing a, um, a release. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. So I think our daughter, Danielle, is she going to come and join us in a little bit? At some point, probably. Okay, I think possibly. she's going to come. But what we wanted to do was let you hear just a few of the songs so that you can um, kind of hear what you're going to get when you download this record. Can I tell you, it means so much when you download um, gospel music, when you yeah. download our new music, because it just makes all the difference in the world to know that people are enjoying it. And I always say that worship music is our weapon. It yeah. really is a weapon. And when you make a decision to surround your, your day, surround your life, put it in your home, put music on in your car, right? When you make a determination that I'm going to just feed my spirit yeah. worship and worship along with it. It's literally, it's, it's fighting the enemy. It's, it's, it's weapons of mass destruction. Yeah. I should, I could say. Yeah. And then what this record is, is really just adding to that. It's adding to the weapons um, that what that worship really is. And so we've got, there's 12 tracks on here. I believe there's 10 songs yeah. and I know it's going to bless you. And Nicole is a songwriter on the song. She wrote with us some of the songs. Danielle, my other daughter, she wrote, we did a great collaboration yeah. writing together. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of fun. And anyway, we're going to have fun just for the, just for a few minutes. And we want to play you just some of the songs that are on this record before it drops. Let me turn this off because <laughs> it's loud. Um, but anyway, I'm ex okay. I turn it's it not. off. It's not turning off. There we go. Okay. There we go. Uh, but why don't we do that? You guys want to hear some new music? Okay. Wait, now we've already got some people commenting in here. It um, I, says good lighting and sound. Thank, thank you. you so much. It's a little late and we're sweaty. I am anyway. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys for jumping on. Um, listen, here, all oh, you're she, you're beautiful like your mom. Oh, thank you. Oh, Me? So sweet. <laughs> um, I appreciate that. Very, very sweet. Okay. So what we're going to do is play just a few songs on this record. This is the record. If you're just jumping on with us, best days, it is going to be out at midnight, midnight. and I cannot wait for you guys to get it. And you, you can actually download it on Spotify and Apple music and I think Amazon, anywhere you can stream music, you're going to be able to get this. Yeah. And what's exciting is we're already getting comments from people that are not in our time zone that are ahead of us. And they are uh, um, letting us know that it's blessing them. They love it. Yeah. They've listened to it over and over. And so I'm love, I'm kind of keeping my eye on my phone too, 
because so many people are like, oh my gosh, I'm in Africa and I'm loving it. I'm listening. And it's just so much fun to watch people get the record and hear the response from people. So we're going to have fun. Yeah. We're going to have fun. I'm pumped. So okay. do you want to show some songs? I think that we should play a few songs for you guys. Yeah. We did that on, on uh, social media as well. So we can, we can play just a few, you know, a little, a little few clips from the songs. All right. So, okay. Which one do you think we should do? We've got, so fight for me is already out. Glory's 2.0 is already out. So how about this? Let's do fight for me just in case there's some people who haven't heard it yet. I think that's a good idea. And Let's then we'll play that. a few more fight for me. It's actually on the radio. It's already climbing almost to the top 50. So we're so excited about yes, that. It is. Come on. <laughs> iTunes and iTunes. Go get it on iTunes. Support artists. Go do Please. that. So that's fine for me, which um, Danielle actually was, that was her kind of like her, the verses of that song. She, we've actually kind of shared, she shared some of that, like the behind the story, um, I think on a podcast or something like that. And she goes a little bit more in depth on how that song was written. Um, but Danielle Came to David and was like, "Hey, I have wait, wait, this. who's David? You have some David." Oh, so our producer David Outing, who is <laughs> absolutely amazing, um, he worked on this entire project with us. It was we collabed together on right, like we literally wrote almost everything together, all four of us, um, with my sister Danielle. And so she one day came to David and was like, "Hey, I've got this ballad type song. You know, it's." You know, it came from like a really deep place, and I just really want to share this ballad with you guys. Right, it's right. A, it's a ballad, <laughs> and he she played the verse for him, and that originally was the chorus. And he was like, "Yeah, okay, how about we try this?" And just started like doing this fun Jamming. little jam, yeah. and she was like, "Yeah, sure, okay." <laughs> and that is what turned into what came to be fight for me fight for me and i love this song so much i cannot i cannot I can't get, get enough, enough i know it. it's a lot of fun and i know it's a lot I'm of biased, fun to sing too but oh my gosh it's so much fun well so we didn't fun. write it so we can brag about it we, we can. didn't write it we can we can exactly. brag. <laughs> okay so let's play why don't we okay so guys let me just tell you when you hear the intro to this song um i didn't share this on social media and i meant to over on the other uh but i will the opening of this song is really, really strong of the whole uh, recording, very strong, but it wasn't anything we planned. We had some glitches right before the recording started. We were it's just so you'll know, if you were not privy to this, to this conversation before or heard me tell the story, we put this record together in 30 days yes. from the first song we wrote. I think we wrote 10, eight songs with some, some um, reprises yeah. that are different than the song. So really eight songs at uh, 10 songs. And so then, um, and we did it in 30 days, a live recording at our church, Epic Life Church in Orlando. Yeah. So it was a very quick work, as they yes. say. So we're writing songs, we're learning songs, we're arranging songs. It was amazing. Yeah. So when we go up, we had had an amazing rehearsal all week, no problems with our computers. We go up to start, um, to start the night and the place is packed and we're excited and we're just energies in the room. And the computers just decide to just stop working. Yeah. 
And there was no reason we couldn't figure out why. And I, I, I was in the back and I could see our band just like starting to freak out. And David outing the producer is like, what is happening? And, and we so had no problems at all. The, none. the whole week, everything none. was fine. None. And so then maybe 10 minutes go by and now we're way late, you know, like we're supposed to start at seven and it's like seven twenty. Yeah. And so I, I waited and waited and waited. And then I thought I'm going up there. And so I went in, I went up on stage and I just started doing my thing. And so the intro was born and it was not something that would have happened yeah. had not those computers gone down. Yeah. So I and I'm telling powerful. you, it is, so, it was amazing. That intro to me is like a classic Martha Minizzi intro, like so powerful, so anointed. She's getting people ready to worship, getting people's hearts ready to have like an incredible experience. Yeah. And so it's, it's, it opens up the album the best way yeah. possible. It's amazing. For sure. It's amazing. So, so I can't, I can't wait for y'all to hear it. Yes. So why don't we play a little bit of heaven? Okay. Um, this is not the intro, but it's the song that goes with the intro that you'll get to hear. I know this is not the best sound. I'm sorry, guys. We should have probably had a better setup, but we will. <laughs> Hold on. Here we go. It's all about bringing heaven down. Yep. <laughs> I know that part was earlier and I forgot to sing it. Yep, we changed it. We changed. <laughs> two songs that we're kind of hearing that it probably doesn't sound the best on here. So next time we'll do this better and we'll have a little, little uh, sound system set up. So it actually sounds better. We wanted to just jump on here for just a few minutes. We've already been on for 13 minutes. It's crazy how fast it goes. I have a question. Yes. I have a question for some of our viewers. I want to know if you have been a Martha Minizzi fan for as, you know, as long as she's been making music, what are your, what's your favorite Martha Minizzi song? If you have one, I know it's hard to decide, but we want to hear from Aww. you guys. Let's see my favorite. I'm still being blessed by no limits and purchasing yells project. When you minister at faithful central Bishop Ulmer years ago. Oh yes. Oh, that's so cool. Love that. Thanks I for supporting Bishop the Ulmer. whole fam. Yeah, that's Danielle great. And everyone. That is it. awesome. I love it. Say, Say the, the name. name. That's a good one. That's oh, Julie Smart. She's like, I'm not picking all of them. <laughs> oh, hey, love you. That love that. She's got. You've got what? Eight albums. Is this your eighth album? I think so. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. There's a lot to choose from, and I would say my favorite is really hard. Oh, someone else said. Oh, yeah. Say the name. I think I love the best is yet to come record. And there's so many on that album that oh. are just hard for me to choose from. But I would probably say like God is here. I think oh, it's my favorite. Yeah. I, I have a hard time picking. Not be, not the only reason is because it's like they're all my children. Yeah. Like I, said, right. I like I like several of them my the best for different reasons. Yeah. But on this new record, I I gotta tell you some oh, got some extra oh. some more people are saying. So someone said he's already provided. That's a great one. That's a that's a throwback. Someone said shout. Look at y'all, Danielle. Hey, everybody. 
Yes. We, we didn't. We just kind of jumped my in. Phone. My phone's dying. Okay. okay. Danielle, this is my oldest daughter, Danielle. For those of you that are not sure, this is who she is. And this is Nicole, my other daughter. And uh, we have a son too, but he's not in here. Um, <laughs> but what's so, oh, the great exchange. Yeah, this is the great that, exchange. If you know about the great exchange, the then you are a true fan. Heaven true, true is fan. open every time I praise. This is a great. I don't know why I wrote that song so high. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And, oh, and the song with my sister and I. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. So Danielle is with us. And we are excited. Really are we gonna, tall, really yeah, tall. I like that. Yeah. Oh, Someone said we created me a clean heart. Oh, God. That's right. We'll all produce that. Great, great, great producer. So we're running a poll at the top of the stream. Have you heard the new music? So if you click that blue bar, click on the, yeah, open it. So, Have you heard the new music? There's a poll that we're running right now. Have you heard any of the new music? Have you heard Glorious? Have you heard Fight For Me? Uh, we're going to be posting some new clips yesterday on uh, Mar on Mom's. I was going to say Mr. Martha on Mom's <laughs> Instagram. Mom. Uh, we showed a Eight clip. Uh, what did we show a clip of Heaven today? Yeah. Yes. Heaven. That was last night. That was last night. I forgot. What Have you, you heard any of the songs? So 35% of you are saying, "Oh, 30." Oh, so no, not yet. You guys haven't heard the music. Go ahead and fill out that poll. Um, and then we've got some. Uh, We've got a couple other things that we want to talk about. But what do you guys want to talk about? Chandler's song is ministered. Yes, I, that's oh, one of my favorite songs. Me too. Renew me. Um, all wow. those songs. Yep. Wow. That's my fave. That one's my fave. Yeah. But we, hey guys, hey everybody. We want to answer your questions. We want to talk to you. We want to, um, what do you guys want to talk about? What are you guys excited? Yes. Shout. Oh, shout. Shout. With a voice of child. Yeah. That's awesome. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, send them in. If you have a question for Pastor Martha, I did it again. <laughs> I know. She's a, our parents' pastor, Epic Life Church, Pastor Anna Martha. <laughs> so shout out to Epic Life. Jesus is the best thing. Yes. I yes. am working right now. If you've heard Jesus is the best thing, you know that there's a version with Mr. Talkbox, Byron uh -huh. Chambers on that. And he's actually the opening. He does the talk box on Bruno Mars song, 24 Karat. And he's a believer. I've known him forever, forever longer yeah. than Bruno Mars knows him. I know. Him. <laughs> but anyway, he, we're actually working on a collab together. Now we're working on some ideas. So. Yes. So if in case you missed that, the, the person who features on Jesus is the best thing literally is on 24 Karat by Bruno, Bruno Mars. Mars. That is a big deal. He loves, deal. Jesus. He he loves, loves Jesus. Jesus. So cool. But Jesus is the best thing is a classic. I had him first. I had Mr. Talk <laughs> right. first. Me. I'm it was me. It was my friend. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Shannon said, hello, Shannon. Shannon. Thank you so much. Girl, you just need to move back. Just move back already, please. Shannon is a friend of ours and a family member of ours, actually, who just moved from Orlando, where we are, to LA. Yes. And so we miss her desperately. But, so much. But we get to see you here. And on Facebook, it's so fun. That's right. Yes. She said, Five for Me is my all time favorite. Oh, that's Danielle. It's all you, girl. <laughs> I love it. It's so fun. It's so fun. Well, what, what are we going to talk about tonight? I know we want to answer some questions. Yes. I know we want to respond to the live questions. Some people submitted questions a while ago. Um, and so we're going to um, answer the, the, the ones that we already received a couple of days ago. But if you have more questions, we're going to answer them because. We're going to be here for a few moments. If you just joined, we are excited because at midnight Eastern, we are releasing the latest Martha Muzzi album. It's Best not. Days is coming out. It's Woo! coming out. Well, we should do a reminder like every 15 minutes. Yes, we should. Five, so we should. Like, <laughs> so they know YouTube watch time is different. So yeah, um, it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. So make sure you know, make sure you're spreading the word, telling people about the album. And how long did it take you guys to complete the new album? It's great That's question. a good question. Well, yeah. it took 30 days to write the songs and actually do a live recording. But then Christmas, the hall of the holidays came after we did the recording. Yeah. And then the top of the year, we all kind of had things we were doing. And so we were working on it consistently. Probably could have gotten it done sooner, but just with everybody's schedules. Yeah. I would say uh, eight months yeah. from inception to yeah. actually out. Yeah. So um, Quicker than time. Exciting. <laughs> Way quicker than Kanye. Yes. What's the songwriting process like for you? How's collaborating with your daughters 
Great question. Um, the songwriting process for me is uh, a lot of times when I'm writing for a record or I'm writing for an artist and we work together on Zoom. Danielle and I work a lot together with different artists over the years and um, just kind of getting in a room, deciding what theme do we want to talk about. I love to just look up scripture. I love to just get as much content about whatever theme it is that I'm writing about yeah. um, for verses, for inspiration. I love to just dive in. I mean, I really believe God's word is the greatest uh, resource that we have yeah. for worship music. And I always just go back to that. And that's what I love. Um, sometimes I'll have a melody and, and usually I'll have melody and music or, or I'm sorry, melody and lyrics together. Start with a chorus. Sometimes I think my course is the course, but it's actually the bridge, you right. know? And so right. it shifts and I try to stay as open as I can. Um, but yeah, I love doing that, but I love writing with my daughters. This, this experience was a lot of fun because um, we just kind of went, there was really no pressure. We didn't have this big idea. We're going to do a live record in 2020. It was kind of like, should we do a record? I mean, it was right. kind of like, let's do one song. Let's How do crazy it. Should we be yeah. the rest of this year? Yeah. So we thought, here's what we did. We just, we just took the next step towards yes. Yeah. And if, okay, if this happens, then we'll go to the next step. And if this falls into place, then we'll go to the next one. Yeah. So we wrote one song, then we wrote four songs, then we wrote a few more. And it just felt like we were walking towards that. Yes. And we just kept saying, okay, could we do a live? Can, if we can get the team we want, then we'll do it. The team yeah. we wanted came together. If we could get, you know, the, the, this person or that person, everything that we said, if we can do it, then we know God's saying yes. God, it fell in our lap. So right. that was exciting. And so when we got into the studio and started writing, Danielle brought ideas. Nicole had ideas. David had ideas. I had ideas. And it all just like pieces of the puzzle just came together. Yeah. So, yeah. That's someone, kind of someone said the band has been killing them songs. Huge <laughs> shout out to the whole team. The album is about to be a problem. It's a big problem. It is about to be a problem. I can he use right. Them. That is true. You are correct. And we've listened to a lot of, you know, we know all of the Mark Minizzi albums and I love all of the Mark Minizzi albums. They're all amazing and unique in their own way. But this, th this album is a game changer. It's yeah. just different. And I think there's just something on it. And I think it's because of the way the, the album came together. Like you were saying, we just went for it and we just in the yes. hardest time that our country's ever faced, that our world has ever faced, we decided to say yes to something really difficult and we were like you know what we're just going to do it and so i think that's what you can hear on this album um exactly and so i think that's what kind of makes it just even more special so yeah. it is about to be a problem you are absolutely right and we want to play some of that problem for you now and we, danielle yeah. brought us a nice little speaker that we can listen hopefully it works. Work. if it's no, not working right. we still have we've still got some questions send in okay. your questions we have some questions that have already been sent in um, but keep sending in your questions. I'm I love what Hel Helena said. The album sounds like it's for the now. So it sounds like, you know, if you haven't heard it yet, it absolutely is. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's for now. Best days is, I didn't really mean for this to happen, but it is kind of like part two of the best is yet to come, which was my first record. Right. One of my first records, the best is yet to come. And it really is. The songs on here are a mind mindset shift. Yeah. If we can look at, some of the most difficult days that we've all walked through the last 18, 19 months and see them from God's perspective. Yeah. We wouldn't see lack. We wouldn't see loss. We've experienced it, but that's not what we would, that's not what we would see. We would see God actually doing his best work. Yeah. He, he does his best work in us when it feels like everything's falling apart, yeah. when it feels like everything's dark, when it feels like we're losing more than we're winning and gaining we go back to God's word and that's what we see all through scripture. The greatest men and women of God, the, through the worst of times, God brought the greatest miracles out of those moments. Yeah. That's what best days is all about. It's a challenge. Can you switch how you see your circumstance and believe that God is doing something yeah. beyond what you could imagine, even yeah. in the dark times. So that's, that's what it is. Um, Oh, Iris says, why haven't we heard any music from you? I love Make It Loud Project. I was afraid that you disappeared. I disappeared for a minute. And the reason that I did is because I was raising my kids and I wanted to make sure that they were planted in a church. So we we did that. We got them planted in a church. I was a youth pastor for about a year. Yeah. And then we started church 
And then um, that's, and now we all serve together. So it's really awesome. It was a great yeah. season to just, just sow some seed yeah. into our kids. And now we're seeing God really use that. Um, but yeah, but we're back y'all. We are back. We're back. And we ain't going nowhere. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's I awesome. Know. Have you guys played the intro already? Can I play the intro? We talked about oh. it. But we I think you should. It. I say go for it. We're going to play the intro. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how the volume sounds. Okay. I'll Let's play this up. works. This is the intro of heaven. Give him a shot. So now if you haven't filled out the poll, now y'all can say, yes, I have heard, You've heard it. music. You've heard it. You've so heard then it. you can put yes. Yes. You've heard it. So I want to make t-shirts and say, God's not worried about it. So why should, should I? I? The back says, God's not freaking out. Why should I? And you that's, should. I really should. I know that sounds so crazy. It makes you laugh. And that's what it's supposed to do. Yeah. It's supposed to make you laugh. And so when we, when we wrote that, I was like, are you guys sure? <laughs> I thought, you know what? Yes. It's the season that we live in. Yeah. Uh, we're worried. People are freaking out, but God is not. God yeah. is not. And and so we thought, let's just go for it. Let's. It makes us smile. And yeah. what do you guys think about that? What do you think about using the word "freaking out" the word <laughs> the song? It's a little too late. But it's you know, great because that's what we were doing in 2020. We were all yeah. freaking out. It's true. We were all like, we just couldn't see up from left from right. Everyone was just freaking out over everything. And yeah. so it was just a great reminder. Yeah. And you know, that's so. true. I'm glad it's we true. did it. I'm glad we went for it. Me too. Thank you guys for hanging on with us tonight. Yes. Yeah. Let's answer some questions. Okay. Let's answer it. Let's do like rapid fire, rapid okay, fire okay, questions, okay, rapid go. fire answers. Okay. You ready? Go. I'll ask. I'll let me ask one. Okay. All right. Let's see. What's your favorite worship song at the moment? And everybody should answer this too. So go ahead and drop it in the comments. What's your favorite worship song oh, at the one. moment right now? What's on your playlist that you're playing? What do you What do you guys say? Do you know? Do you have a uh, favorite? I, we're not talking about my music, right? I mean, I, I, 
Well, no, non mark music. Yeah. Non mark music. Okay. So I, um, I, oh man, my honestly, I know it's, you know, it's an easy one, um, but I gotta say, my girl Cece Winans, belief for it is like, so good. I want to just so good. fall out and pl I, you sing that song on Sundays. I'm like, yeah, because <laughs> it's you. it's really where. It's really where I'm at. I believe for it. Move, yeah. see the impossible. And uh, yeah, that's my favorite. And, but then, okay. But then I also love um, build your church by elevation and or Maverick. That, that yes. Oh. That, is, that brings me to my knees. Every so, amazing. Time. so amazing. What's the, what's the name of that other song? I can't even, I can't even count them all. Oh, miracles. Little, miracles on miracles. Miracles on miracles. A million little I miracles. Can't even count them all. Yeah. One, so two, good. three, so four. Good. Okay. okay. So good. Do y'all so, have any favorite current worship songs? Y'all should comment. Let me know. You want to go to the next question? Someone said, have your way. Have your way. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Hey, well, let's keep going. Let's cool keep going. Barbados. Hey, everybody. Barbados. Hey. Oh, the most beautiful place on the planet. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I have, there's a couple other questions that came in this week. If you guys have any more questions, you can go ahead and submit them. But um, let's see. Which one should we do? Um... Is that your real hair color? No. <laughs> <laughs> What's oh, this one? Oh, here's some one. This oh, you wanna? Oh, here's some ones. Yes, CC Grateful, JJ Harrison, and Surrender, and We Need a Friend. Oh, we love We Need a Francis. Oh, we love yes. We Need a. She's a friend of ours. She's a great friend, friend of ours. Oh, we've known in spite of me is like, great. All things kids. in rotation. Yep, 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 yep. Some um, great music out right now, guys. I'm telling you. Another question Yahweh. that came in. Oh, wait, because of who you are. You have to take a moment. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you, Justin. <laughs> Another question is, what's the hardest part about recording a live album compared to a studio album? Well, you know what? They're both extremely challenging, but I'm not a studio person. I'm more of an environment. Get me in the room and then like, I, I can't. I need the people. I need the band. I need that live I, um, environment, that live element to really pull out you know what I do. Yeah. Um, so I don't, I don't even know, like when I get into a studio, I'm thinking this is not where I need to be, yeah. <laughs> you know, cause it's hard and it takes a lot of, a lot of discipline, but then the live has a lot of um, energy. It, it takes a lot of energy as well. So it's, it's, it's both, it's both. And you're, you're really putting a lot on the line when you do live because you have to just capture everything yeah. and whatever happens happens. And if you didn't get it, you don't get it. Yeah. Um, but this record really was just an act of, is a miracle. It really is. How much of the new album is overdub versus how much is live on the new album? You know what? There are moments that um, we worked a little bit, but there's there's not a whole lot of overdubbing. We didn't add a lot because we didn't feel like we needed to. Yeah. Um, but we wanted it just to be as raw as it could be. And if it happened, you know, it was hard because we would get in the studio and say, I wish I had sang it this way, or I wish I had said that. Well, I didn't. Yeah. So um, <laughs> I just got to deal with it. <laughs> yeah. There might have been a couple of moments where I had to throw a little exhortation in. But for the most part, what you hear is the night it's live. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Next question. Um, What do you think? Let's see. If you could go and ask that one. Yeah, I can ask it. If you could go back in time when you were about to release your first album, what advice would you give your younger self? That's a great question. That is a great really question. question. I would say, God's not freaking out. <laughs> uh, I would say, don't, don't worry. Yeah. It, God is working things beyond what you can even imagine. Don't worry about your kids. My kids, y'all were so little. Don't worry about how God, don't worry about how God's going to do it. Um, just trust the process. It, it, it would just be, don't worry, distress. Don't be afraid. That's awesome. That's great. Cause that was a big, big album. So that yeah, would, I would, you would need that advice. Yes. Um, I would need it. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite song that you released that wasn't a single that you wrote? Um, oh, uh, you know, one of my, well, I think we've mentioned great exchange on this record, but I do, I don't know if y'all remember back in the, back in the backity back days, <laughs> oh um, give him the highest praise. Yeah, anybody remember oh. give him the highest praise? Give him the highest praise. praise. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. That is like <laughs> from the late nineties. 
Um, and I used to have so much fun singing that song. And it was as simple as, as it could possibly be. So maybe we should have redone that song. We maybe can. one day we'll, re we'll bring that back. We should. Throwbacks. We'll bring it back. All right. Another question. Somebody wants to know what your secrets are. So um, what are some tips or tricks to write a good worship song? What are some tips and tricks for writing a good worship song? Okay. So um, I am all about what the theme of the song is, whatever that is, you want as much as you can to revisit and, and, uh, you want to revisit that theme in your course and in, in your course, in your bridge and in your, and in your verses. So whatever theme it is, you want to come back and reinforce that theme. So a lot of times I'll hear people, they'll send me a song and the song's about 10 different things yeah, or even five different things. And I like to, um, again, for a really great song that hits and people can sing along and it just, it's something that people can just be a part of immediately is, you know, you don't want your course to be about grace and your verses to be about, you know, heaven. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you want to keep reinforcing, like because of who you are was one of the first times I'd really done that. And because of who you are, it was the chorus. And then Jehovah Jireh was a bridge. I mean, it was just course bridge, but I wanted to answer whatever question I'd asked or whatever I had stated in the, the top of the song, I wanted to make sure I'd answered it in the back of the song. So that's, that's important that you are always just helping that reinforcing the theme of the song in yeah. each section. That's actually a, a great piece of advice. If you are a songwriter, because it keeps things really streamlined yeah. and structured, even though songwriting should be creative and fun. Uh, there is a simplicity to that, to keeping it about the main thing. So I hope you were taking notes mm -hmm. because that is a great, great tip for, for songwriting. For and sure. and song, when you're writing songs, listen to you, the top 10 songs. Go and listen to the top. It could be pop. It could be, you know, R&B, whatever songs you love. Gospel songs are the best. <laughs> um, but listen to what you like about the song. What is it that you love? What stands out? And and pay attention to the, to the patterns of songs, pay attention to what happens and that there's a bridge and that there's a hook yeah. and that there's flow and that there's pay attention and be a student of great songs so that when yeah. you're writing songs, it's a formula in a lot of ways. And we don't want to be formulaic, but there is a type of a formula that, that really works. So yeah. we've got some uh, three other questions that came in okay. here. The first one, is can your daughter sing too? If so, will they do a collab with you? Do you want to tell them that <clears throat> this album is? <laughs> no, we are. Me, 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 me. Okay, we are. This is our I debut singing with our mom. I think they meant. I think they meant. Okay. Oh. Okay. Here, I sing. I'm not just kidding. kidding. You yeah. can sing. My girls, this is what's so great. These are the best days. <laughs> We collabed on the album. This, yeah. this so record, hear it as soon as it comes out, they need to hear some of it. Yeah, listen, that's a great question because they wrote mm -hmm. the songs with me and they produced and, and actually co-wrote and then sang on this. You're not going to just hear me. You're going to hear them okay, so as well. No one's heard the title track yet. Do y'all want to hear the title track? Just a part of it. Listen, anybody that would stay on this late, they you deserve, deserve it. it. You deserve it. it. I don't Absolutely. know if this will be able to keep this video up because it might get flagged. By and I'm going to add my cookie. We'll I see. need to cook because I'm celebrating the cookie. There you go. Oh, was it disconnected that fast? Oh, really? All right. One uno momento. All right. We're going to play. Let's play the title track. Best days. What is it? Stockwell? Did it die? Oh, yeah. It should still be on. There we go. All right. Here we go. Crank it. Do it. 
I love that song. Thank this one you. is a movie, though. It's a movie. It goes into a. It goes into a twelve other sections. It does. <laughs> you guys, that song is. It's. it's amazing. Can I just say, when you download this record and you listen to it, don't stop at halfway and think you've heard the song, right. because there are so many surprise twists on these songs. Every we song twist is. it and add another element, another level, another layer. That if you turn it off too soon, you're going to miss. Yeah. So I love to listen to music in my closet when I'm getting dressed and getting ready. And man, if you can make me sing along, I'm I'm all in. And yeah. so we want to make you sing along, but stay with it because I'm telling you, it just keeps building and growing. Yeah. Every song, every song has a twist. Also all right. Said, wow, I have tears. What a great mom and follower of Christ to know your kids are following Christ with you. Oh, great. Yes, That's I true. am a super blessed. <laughs> I am a super blessed mom. You're gonna say, yeah, I'm a, I'm a good mom. I'm a good great mom. mom. I'm a great There were some mom. other questions that we had up here. Somebody asked something about Gloria Estefan. Yes. Do you want to read that one? Um, when you wrote Glorious, were you inspired by Gloria Estefan and the Miami Sound Machine? Sometimes I hear elements of the song Conga in there. <laughs> well, when I wrote the song, I was not. It was not a Gloria Estefan song. And I'm not going to tell you what inspired me. you. <laughs> but you do love Gloria Estefan. Oh, my you gosh. Do. I'm a yeah. massive fan. As a matter of fact, I have a Gloria Estefan story. You do? I have a Gloria Estefan story. We drive, we live in Orlando, and so we go to Miami a lot because my family, family members live there. And we had just put out the very first record, Say the Name. Okay. And it was a did not sound good, but we were happy to have a record. <laughs> anyway, and so we were driving from Orlando to Miami, and we stopped at one of those um, – what do you call it? When the you rest stop? Like the rest stop, like the really nice rest stop. And so we ran in. I think that was the last time I ate Burger King. Honestly, it was the last time I ate Burger King. So we walk in to go use the bath the bathroom. And my husband says, Gloria Estefan and her husband are sitting right there in Burger King eating. I said, oh, my gosh, Gloria Estefan. He said, take a CD and go give it to her. And I said, I am not going to do that. And they know their dad. They know how he is. <laughs> anyway, and so he's like, but he is just one of those people. I believe in you. Now go do what I tell you to do. Uh -huh. And so I'm like, I'm not doing it. And so we're over in the corner fighting, arguing. He's pushing me. Just go do it. Go do it. This is a moment and you're going to miss out. I said, Gloria Stefan does not care about my music. She's a huge superstar. He's like, you never know. You never know. And so I just trepidatiously in humility and humiliated. <laughs> I walked over and she's eating her Whopper. <laughs> oh my God. And I said, I'm part of me. Let me give you my set. I think she had just signed on Shakira at the time. Oh my And gosh. so anyway, I was like shaking here. Let me see the other music. And she went, thank you. And she put it down. And so I can't wow. face, I can't that face is her. I can never face. Story. But no, you're a, no, a mixtape girl. I'm a mixtape girl. But I'm a I'll but I'll tell you, I did not. I, I that was not inspiration. Now the band, as we put it together, probably was. Yeah. Um, but we that we wanted that to be a very eclectic world sound. But yeah, you hear Gloria, that's a huge compliment for sure. Yeah. She's amazing. Okay, this is our next question. What do you do for self care, and how do you and your husband balance ministry and family? Self care. I love. Uh, I mean, I have great genes. My mother looks like she's sixty five, <laughs> and uh, but I am all about. Um, great skincare and I'm all about essential oils. I've been using them for almost seven years and I'm going to tell you what, that has made a big difference in my life. So, yeah. and just being positive, yeah. honestly, just keeping a good attitude as much as you can, yeah. keeping stress out. I work, that's why I use essential oils and aromatherapy, getting rid of stress as I've gotten older, getting ahead of my health and making yeah. sure that I'm taking care of my health. And even though I just had a cookie, I'm trying <laughs> to balance the sugar intake, all of those things, you know, really does, really does make a difference. But thank you for that question. And then the second half, do you want to answer that? How do you and your family, your husband balance ministry and family? Quick answer. There is no way to find balance because life is always changing. We like rhythm. Yeah. We find our rhythm for whatever it is that's, that's new, some a new assignment. Maybe it's uh, the, the, with the album. If you, if y'all's lives are changing, whatever it is, the church, we just find, okay, here's the assignment. 
Here's what we're doing for the next 30 days, six months or whatever it is. Let's find our rhythm. Yeah. And then because, again, in ministry, it's always something new that's going on. So balance is too hard. I can't find balance. It's it's the rhythms of grace. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Good. Thank you. OK, so we've got a few I heard that more. from somebody. In the room. <laughs> <laughs> you just steal whatever you like. Oh, so um, let's see. Somebody asked, do you come from a musical family and you raise your kids to be uh, musical as well? What do you think is important for the next generation of aspiring worship leaders and artists to know? That's a great question. I love this question. I believe in being submitted and planted in the house, in the local church. And I, the older I get, the more I'm convinced of it. I see so many people that over the years that just, you know, things didn't happen the way they wanted or it didn't go their direction and they were, you know, planted and then they uprooted. And I'm not saying you have to stay at the same church your whole life. We didn't. But when you're, but when you are more planted and you, you can look back and see a good season of your life, you were planted and submitted. And there was a pastor and a voice that was over you and you were submitted to that. Um, It's amazing what can happen in your life and a good root system goes deep. Why? So the tree can go, can grow to the highest heights. And that's why sometimes we are limited in our growth and in our development and even our anointing because we, we don't have a deep roots root system. And it's as simple as, you know, just submitting it, even when it's, even when it's hard, even when you might feel overlooked, I'm telling you, I, I have all day. I could answer that question. And, um, and, and gospel artists and singers, Don't get so far away from God's house. Don't get far away. Don't think that there's a tour I want to go on that's going to change my life. It will change your life and it might not be for the better. Yeah. Right. You you want to make sure that you're planted and that you're working in the local church because that's God is married to the local church. He's married to the bride. And so when you're doing what your part is to build the local church, there's no there's no limit. There's just no limit. And God can do both. He can do both in your life. You know, he can continue to develop you outside the church, but your foundation is the local body in the church. That's my answer on that. That's awesome. And it's, it's so true. It is so true. Stay planted, find a church, get plugged in. Yep. It will change your life. And keep Jesus number one priority in your life and find those, the, the conviction of the Holy Spirit. What is God convicting you yeah. to do? What is he convicting you not to do? And don't don't move off of that. Make a decision. These are my, these are, these are my convictions. These, yeah. this is my standard. The way I, I made a decision to, to live based on God's word and don't, don't, don't move from that. That's awesome. That's good. So that is awesome. Well, we can't wait for you guys to hear the new album. Thank you so much for being on with us. Make sure, make sure at midnight, wherever your time zone is at midnight, when the clock strikes August 27th, to go stream the new Martha Minuzi album called Best Days. When you do, if you are listening to it on iTunes, would you do us a favor and leave a review or send us a message and let us know what you think. We want to know, yes. do you like the songs? What songs do you like? What do you not like? What do you want to hear more of? Um, all of that helps us so much and your support is is so, so greatly appreciated. So we can't wait for you to hear all 12 tracks. Yes. Brand new music. Somebody said what new stuff? Yes. A new all album. brand new. New, new, new. Dropping at midnight. I can say this. I can <laughs> say this because I um this is her, her name, not mine, but I can say this. Um yeah, it's about time and I will have to say <laughs> Uh, no shade to anybody else, but I love music and I listen to everything as soon as it comes out. Like I'm obsessed with the music. I'm obsessed. I like on Friday nights or on Thursday nights. I'm like, I want to be the first to hear things. And people don't, people are not really releasing like bops, like upbeat worship music. If you know some, like send it to me, like, but people are not like releasing a song past yeah. like 75 BPM. Like things are slow. <laughs> things are slow. And on this album, there's a lot of upbeat bops, fast songs, praise songs. Get, start your day right. Keep your day going. Um, album shifting or, or atmosphere shifting songs on this album. So I'm excited for you to hear it. So let us know. It's like back to back, like fast marathon, like party. It's like it's a just it's a, a marathon of yeah. hype and excitement. So it really is. Um, 
let us know what you like. Let us know the songs that you're enjoying and every bit of support, all the, the shares, all the bookmarks, all the sends, all the comments, all the views, all of that makes such a huge difference. It really does. In what we're doing in the message in this, in this campaign that, you know, it's a, it's a biblical truth that we want to get through to people that God is making a way out of no way for you in your life. Yeah. He's making rivers in the dry land, waters in the wasteland that, 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 yes, exactly. You guys got a lot of work to do. What do you mean? Yes, that's right. I, I'm we doing, do. It. We do. We, we do. We do. It's this work. Work. No, you're right. You're right. You're so right. y'all are part of the street team unofficially. <laughs> yes. You were on us. So y'all have work to do. You have work to do. You Spread were viewing it early. Yes. You were on the streams. You were commenting early. So go ahead and make sure if you're a Spotify listener, if you're wherever you are, you can go. I think, um, uh, we'll post the comment or the, the link, but if you just search Martha Nizzi, if you're Eastern standard time, midnight is your time. You've got about an hour and a half. Yes. If it is August 27th, we've got some people that are watching in other time zones. If it's already past midnight where you are, go listen to the album. I think we should play just a little bit of worthy worthy before we go. Should we play the end of it? I think she played the top the top. The little bit. Yeah. You sure? I, I, not the big shebang. Probably. You hit the reprise. Okay. <gasps> okay. The yeah. Reprise. Facebook Live didn't get the reprise. Oh, it keeps disconnect keeps disconnecting. All right. Here we go. Stick around. We're going to play. Oh, that's why. Maybe that's why. I need to press it again. Yeah. One. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. It's coming, y'all. It's coming. This is. <laughs> Sharon Ann is a phenomenal vocalist, producer, yes, she vocal is. producer, and we gave her a spot on this record and went, you do what you do. She is a beast. Sharon Ann. I'm she she telling you. She was a vocal arranger on every song, and you got to hear her feature on this album or on this song. Lot, I wish we could say that I could say it was me or that it was Danielle, but it was Sharon. It was not. And all credit to her. <laughs> and she's about this big around and has a voice that's like, blah. Insane. So it's amazing. Yes. So we can't wait for you to hear the whole record. Um, guys, thank you so much thank for joining so us. Much. Again, we sat on here for almost thank an hour and y'all stay with us. Thank yes. you so much. So you've got a little over an hour and it's going to be out. I think we're going to be, if you want to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, go do that. So, yeah. cause we go live a lot there. I think we're going live on Instagram, aren't we? Yeah. Either, we might do Facebook. both again. Uh, right yeah. Now. And we're going to go live right after midnight, probably about 12, 20, 12, 30, something like that. Maybe. Um, if you're still awake um, <laughs> and just to get, to get some feedback, once you've heard the whole record, yeah. of course, not giving you a whole lot of time to hear it all. Yeah. But, you can scrub. Oh go yeah. Let's scrub. It. <laughs> this is a 21st second. I think go listen to the album. 12, 15. Yeah. We can be listening 20. to it together. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, we're going to do that on Facebook and on Instagram. So follow me at either one of those, just my name, just search my name, Martha Munizzi. And or follow me here. You can subscribe here too. Yes. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Here. Guys, we've got a podcast. Me and the girls did. Uh, we've got four weeks of podcasts. I think we just did the third week or the fourth week. Third. The third week. So there's more to come. Fourth. 
Maybe fourth. Fourth, 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 fourth week. week. So we give a little bit more in depth behind the scenes of the record and all the things that, that you know, how we put the songs together. So you can go watch that as well right here on uh, YouTube. So, also, shameless plug, subscribe to me, Nicole Joy. Yes. Tell me, Nizzy. We have oh YouTube channels as well. We've got some content. Danielle just released a music video last week for a new single she just put out. Go listen, go watch, and subscribe so you can be the first one you to put out your, you put out your video. You just you put out acoustic song. She's got an EP. I've got some stuff. She's got some stuff in the works coming out too. You can uh, find our pages tagged on her YouTube. So if you go on yes. her YouTube, we just click through the profile that you're watching on now, you'll see our faces pop up. Yes. yes, you will. And I'm telling you, these girls have got some great music, some great content, it's amazing. And uh, thank you guys for joining us. My sister did not sing on this record, but she's got a new record coming out as yes, well. So be st staying tuned for that. But these are, y'all are like the ones that are like the ride or dies. You're yes. staying on. Thank and you. you're going to be a part of this. So thank you so much. Yes. And download, please download, share this, let somebody know. It makes all the difference in the world that people know that we're back. We got some new best music days. and these are the best, best <laughs> days. The best days. <laughs> it's coming guys. And we've got new merch. Somebody, somebody asked me for, oh, should I stand up? Sure. Oh, yeah. this is the, this is our brand new, these, these are the best, are the best days t-shirts. It's kind of like, it's called pepper. This It's not black. It's like a, it's like a deep gray. It's a great color. Gray. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. So <laughs> we have those on for sale too. Okay, Mary yes, is like, yeah, up. gotta stay up till midnight now. All right, y'all, maybe take a quick cat nap in between. I'm gonna take a cat nap. Yes. Just a quick nap. But we'll see y'all back either on um, Instagram or Facebook. Thank you guys so we much for joining so us. Much. We love y'all. We'll see you after midnight. Yes.